In a shocking and surprising twist, the Miami Dolphins will once again be without their two top wide receivers on Sunday when they face the Panthers. Brian Flores spoke with the media today and informed the media that both Devontae Parker and Will Fuller will not be playing this week. Flores said they are getting close to returning, he said that last week as well, but apparently not quite yet. For those that missed it, the shocking and surprise comment was sarcasm. Will Fuller continues to sit out due to a broken finger that he suffered in week three. Meanwhile, Tua Tungavailoa has broken his ribs and his finger and has returned to the playing field. There has been no word on whether Fuller had surgery on his finger or whether or not his feelings are hurt. That's not intended to be sarcastic. Fuller continues to be a monumental bust and another failed free agent signing from Chris Greer. The Dolphins didn't want to pony up another $4 million this year for one of the other receivers and considered Fuller a bargain at $10 million guaranteed. Fuller thinks this was a bargain as well. As for Parker, no one is surprised by Parker being out. He seems to be out far more than he seems to be on the field. This week, the Dolphins could have used him. Miami is facing the top passing defense in the NFL this weekend and will do so with Jalen Waddell, Mac Hollins, and maybe Preston Williams if he can stay healthy the next two days. On Thursday night, the media were all over the fact that Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys was going to be without his two top wide receiver, Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb. Tua Tungavailoa has not had his top wide receivers on the field at the same time at all this year and last year he didn't get much from the top two last year that included Parker and Williams. Hunter Long could get a shot on Sunday for the Miami Dolphins. Brian Flores hasn't made it official yet but it appears that rookie tight end Hunter Long will be getting a shot to play on Sunday. Long has been inactive most of this season and that has caused fans to criticize Chris Greer for what many believe to be a wasted third-round draft pick. Now, it appears that Long will be on the field but will he actually get playing time? That's a good question and frankly, I wouldn't put money on it. The issue that is working in Long's favor is that Adam Shaheen has not been practicing due to an injury. With Shaheen out, it opens the opportunity for Long to get some work in a game. Miami will run with Mike Jasicki and Durham Smythe but Shaheen has stepped up and continues to develop as the Dolphins' number two tight end. Long, however, is believed to be the future, but the question is whose future will he replace? Both Jasicki and Smythe are free agents after the season and Long could be the replacement for one of them. Miami could opt to keep both and move on from Shaheen or they could continue to run with a large tight end group. Miami currently has five tight end on the active roster including those named above and Seathan Carter. Carter hasn't been involved much this year but the Dolphins gave him a one-year deal that will come out around $2.7 million in the end. There will be a lot of questions after the season is over as it relates to this group but in a perfect world, Long, Jasicki, Shaheen, and Smythe would make a pretty good group of four and the Dolphins need to get Jasicki extended.